Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the first official gift guide of the holiday season. I'm so glad that you're here. If you've never seen me before, hello, my name is Sarah and I make gift guides throughout the whole entire year. I will have the playlist linked for you above. I make gift guides for Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, birthdays, boo buckets, um, back to school stuff, anything you can think of, I have gift guide ideas, gift guides. I have gift ideas for my kids, my husband, the men in your life, uh, the women in your life, teachers, anything and everything. I am sure that I have a guide for you, so definitely check out my past year's videos. Um, and this one is the second annual uh, ultimate Christmas wish list idea, which is basically kind of my Christmas wish list. Um, and I started doing this last year when a lot of you guys asked for ideas um, or to kind of film what I got for Christmas so you could have ideas for the next year. But I thought it's already, it's already too late and things may change, your desires may change. So why why don't I start creating a wish list before Christmas so you guys can get some ideas of what you're hoping to receive under the tree and I can share with you guys what I'm hoping to receive under the tree. Last year was so much fun and you guys really really enjoyed it and so we are bringing it back and doing it again this year. The way that I do this is I share with you guys my Pinterest boards and I will have them linked for you guys below. I've made two Pinterest boards this year. One is basically the ultimate Christmas wish list which is are just fun gifts, cool gifts, things I'm hoping to receive um, and or things that would be really cool to receive or something like that. And then I also have a stocking stuffer board. Um, again, self-explanatory stocking stuffers. I know some of you guys only exchange stockings. I know some of you guys only do gifts or you're looking for a specific gift for some person or stocking ideas for someone in your life. Um, so I want to give both options for you guys. I also get a lot of questions or just, um, you know, ways to introduce gift ideas or to kind of encourage your partner or your loved one to kind of be able to be a little bit reciprocal in the gift giving. I know, um, especially as moms and even not as moms, but just um, working hard women with whatever you do. That was hard working women is what I'm going to say. <laughs> just um, you know serve a beautiful present underneath the tree and I know sometimes it can be kind of daunting or overwhelming for a partner to kind of know what to get or where to start and so my advice is always to either create a Pinterest board like I do or um, a use your notes app or a Google Doc or anything where you can say the description of the item if there's a size or a color or any speci uh, specifics and then have the link for them send it their way just to like hey here's some gift couple of gift ideas if you're wondering what to get me super Super, super easy and really really helpful and for me it has been the best way for not only my husband but for my friends and family to gift as well and gives them kind of like a diving board to jump off of to kind of like go from there and just gives them ideas and get those creative juices flowing so that is my number one tip and advice to give when it comes to kind of just like hey I'm hoping to get something under the tree. Um, and I also want to put the disclaimer on that I am in no way, shape, or form saying that I'm hoping to receive all of these gifts or that I want all these gifts or that I'm expecting all of these gifts. These are just ideas. These are just things that I think are really gosh darn cool or things that I would love to receive. Um, but I am in no way asking for these gifts, all of these gifts, or just saying like they will be here. Okay? Let me just say that real quick. I will say that if you've been watching any Christmas wish list videos um, I feel like they're very much a like there's a theme where it's like this is the ultimate it girl um, wish list or these are the coolest gifts that, or most popular gifts or you know which are great do not get me wrong um, and are really helpful but if you're looking for more niche gifts if you're looking for more um, specific very specific gifts I feel like this would be the gift guide for you because I feel like this year my list is very I don't want to say dorky, but I feel like dorky. You know, I feel like I'm really just letting all my hobbies, all my interests, all my my things that I just love, just like full like flood out into my Christmas list, which is not dorky. Don't let me don't let me say that. I love it. I think it's gosh darn cool. But you know, you'll see what I mean. All right. So the way I'm going to kind of break down these gift guides or the gift guide in general is, like I said, I have two um, boards on Pinterest. One is like regular just 
Christmas gift guides, gift ideas or wish lists, and the other is my stocking stuffers. So within those two uh, Pinterest boards, I will then just break down by category. So we'll talk like beauty, we'll talk um, home decor, we'll talk accessories, we'll talk all that sort of stuff. So I think that'll be the easiest and most efficient way to do it. Um, and then I'll just pop up pictures here on the screen of kind of the items and just the things that I'm interested in. So let's just get started. So the first kind of category, I'm looking down on my phone by the way, the first kind of category that we are going to tackle are books. I am asking for so many different books. Um, not all of them do I hope to get, but just there's a wide variety here on my um, wish list. I um, have been a voracious reader since I was a child, and I got back into um, reading. I took a little bit of blip there when I had kids, and I wasn't able to read as often. Um, but then I discovered a Wattpad uh, fan fiction and I couldn't stop. So it's all I love to do. It is my most enjoyable, true joy in my life. And so I have a number of books here on my wish list. I have books that are just um, mostly fiction, but I do think I have at least one nonfiction, which happens to be about mortuary sciences, <laughs> because I really, really love, um, the Lives of Morticians, I love Mortuary Sciences. Um, the book is called Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? And it's actually from a fellow creator here on YouTube. She used to be, I, I don't think she is uh, still a practicing mortician, she may be. Um, I don't know, but she definitely has at least been in the past. Um, and I love her videos. And I know, again, this is like a, that's a very niche particular thing, but I just, it's something I enjoy learning about. I if I had the guts, I would have tried to do that in my life, but I don't think I could handle it. Um, but I love learning about it, so I don't know, there's that. Anyway, I think that's the only like um, non-fiction book here on my list, but I have a ton of other fictional books. I have things like special editions of A Court in Thorns and Roses, which is already a series that I love and adore, but I would love to get some special edition ones. I have the whole entire box set of Throne of Glass, which is like a most wanted item. I want it so bad because I have not read that series yet and I just, I cannot wait. I've been dying to read it. I also have other books that I've either enjoyed and really, really want to have my own physical copy of or books that I'm really hoping to read and series that I'm hoping to read. Um, before we moved, we had no space to actually collect physical books so I would read everything on my Kindle, which don't get me wrong, I still love my Kindle, but it's been a lifelong dream to have my own like little home library, which we now have here and it has been such a joy and my favorite space and so um, I've been wanting to collect more and more books to kind of fill it and so um, I definitely have plenty on there but if you have someone in your life that is also bookish and looking for some new book series to gift them or some box sets or books that you think that they would enjoy or things that you really want to read and maybe you haven't heard of this series yet or this particular book I will have like I said that linked on that Pinterest board below but um, I am so excited there's some really really good ones that I really hope to get um, to for the year 2024, which is crazy to say. And along that like bookish theme, um, we will talk about merch items <laughs> or just like fan clothes and stuff like that. I have become like the biggest like merch wearer. Um, I feel like it's all I wanna wear nowadays. I just, it's so much fun and it just brings so much joy to my life and my heart and so I have found a number of like bookish themed sweatshirts and shirts and I would absolutely, absolutely adore to receive these underneath the tree. I actually have already ordered one, but I'm having my husband wrap it and give it to me because I wanted it so bad and I just didn't know if it would sell out in time and I just, I couldn't take a gamble. Um, but it is fourth wing themed, which for those of you who are on the fourth wing train and have been enjoying it, this is a perfect gift for you. Or if you have someone in your life that loves it, this is a writer's jacket. This is actually Zayden's writer's jacket. Um, and I just love it. I think it's so cool. It's embroidered, it's beautiful. I actually discovered it, um, <laughs> which will make me sound like the oldest person on the planet. But I love Facebook groups. <laughs> That's about the only thing I like Facebook for. I don't really ever like use Facebook for much of anything, but I do enjoy using it for Facebook groups. And I'm a part of many. And um, I find a ton of awesome small business owners and small shops um, through these Facebook groups. And this is how I discovered a majority of actually the things I put on my wish list this year. But this particular item is that um, sweatshirt and I cannot wait. 
I also have a Best Guy uh, sweatshirt and t-shirt. I couldn't care either one um, uh, linked on this uh, Pinterest board below as well. And I, I just, it looks so cool. And I love the dragons on the back. Um, and I also, I think, have a Bat Boys tee. And I think that may be it. Um, but I just, I love merch. It's so comfy and cozy. And I feel like there's such awesome gifts to give people who are just totally, like, part of that world. I, I don't, you can't go wrong with a, like a merch themed gift. We will now talk about like home goods <laughs> for like merch. I found a number of things for my bookshelf or for those of you who have bookshelves or you know, loved ones in your life that like to receive like things to kind of decorate with their bookish merch in their life. Um, I found things like I said for fourth wing, a lot of things for fourth wing. I feel like that just took over my brain this year. Um, but I found Andarna and Taryn like little 3D like um, dragons that are so cute and I think would look adorable on a bookshelf and are used for bookshelves. I feel like they're really, really um, this like creator just fantastic i only see nothing but good reviews and i would love them i also found some really beautiful like hand painted windows that i don't think are particularly fourth wing but um they have some dragons flying out uh, outside of them i just think they look beautiful and would look so pretty on a bookshelf um i also have a dagger from from blood and ash poppy's dagger i think it's supposed to be like a letter opener or it may be a bookmark but i think it's so cool um and i also put a uh, book nook on there if you don't know what a book nook is it's basically it's kind of like a puzzle it's a little craft kit and you kind of build this little scene and a lot of them are lit um, and then you place it on your bookshelf in between your books and it's like this little scene of um, whatever the case may be like there's tons of things for Harry Potter there's also some like um, Akatar themed ones and all sorts of stuff but this one I found on Amazon and I just thought it looked so much fun and it was so cute and cozy and perfect for just the wide variety of things I like to read um, and this is such a good like gift for the crafty people in your life um, and something to kind of help like get past those like dark winter days. I get really bad seasonal depression and so this is something to kind of give me something to look forward to and something to enjoy that is cozy and quiet um, to you know dive into. So I love that idea. Um, and I would love to receive it. Now we're going to move on to home decor that isn't um, directly tied to a fictional universe. <laughs> um, but I would love to receive this little like martini table is what I think it's called. It's this little tiny metal um, like accent table that I would love to put on the side of my like big lounge comfy chair in my library so I can read there. I really enjoy sitting in that chair and I've been wanting to read there for a long time but I just I don't have any place and I'm always drinking something. I don't have any place to put my my cup and I don't want to put it on the floor to spill and ruin the floors. I, it's really, it's too uh, tall to put on my mantle and then my bookshelf. It's just been kind of this like awkward space. And so I really would love to have this tiny little mini table that I can use for snacks or a drink or both um, that just is meant to stay there. It doesn't take up too much space, isn't super expensive, but it's like a perfect place to kind of like set your stuff down. I also would really, really love a little footstool for that area as well. Um, so I can get extra cozy and then I have a place to rest my feet. I feel like this is such a good gift for those of you in your life who, for yourself or for those people in your life who also really enjoy reading or just lounging in a chair. Um, and obviously you don't want to buy them recliner or things that's going to take up a lot of space or be really in a, a really expensive. This is an inexpensive gift um, and it has really great reviews. There's tons of different types on, on Amazon, but I think would be just really nice and thoughtful to gift to someone in your life who likes to read in a big comfy chair or likes to relax there and do crafts and knit or whatever the case may be, I feel like would be a really good idea. Um, and I would love to receive it. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so I feel like it could be easily just kind of like pushed underneath the chair or, you know, slid to the side. Um, but I, I really want to start reading more in that cozy chair because it's so comfortable. I also have my a bookshelf listed on there. I am not expecting to receive a bookshelf. I am running out of space in my bookshelf, but I wanted to tag it on there because that is actually the bookshelf that I have and really enjoy. It's not very expensive. I mean, 
now for a bookshelf. It's also not like the most amazing quality in the whole entire world, but it has really good reviews and I've enjoyed it. Um, and it would definitely fit perfectly if, you know, to have a little second one right by its side to continue to fill on to really create that library. And speaking of library, I found this little library like wall placard um, that's like Art Deco styled on Etsy. I love it. I've been wanting it for so long. I found it like last January and I've just been like admiring it. Um, and so I would love to get it and just kind of put it on the outside of our little library entrance it fits perfectly in our into our decor and i just love the idea of finally being able to be able to like label the room i already call it the library but it's even more fun to say like oh this is the library and you see like a little placard i just think it's so cute and i would love to have that okay moving on to taylor swift so um i obviously like a lot of different fictional universes and I feel like they go hand in hand with being a Swifty so well. And so um, I have a bunch of different Taylor Swift themed gifts on here um, as well. And I will share with you guys that I did um, put a sweatshirt originally on there, but then I already because I didn't know if it would come in time because there was a very early cutoff date uh, for this particular sweatshirt. And um, But I will have it linked for you below because I think the... Uh, artist and store owner it has incredible beautiful embroidered um taylor swift themed things and i got a right where you left me sweatshirt and i cannot wait to wear it i'm gonna again though have it wrapped and put it underneath the tree to uh, enjoy that little surprise to myself um for christmas day i also put a another book nook on there this one's a fully finished one that um a fellow Swifty in my Facebook group had created and I just think it's so great it's another right where you left me um kind of themed item and I love that song and I just think it's such a beautifully done little book nook and it's so cute I don't know if it'll still be available by the time Christmas comes but um if I don't receive it I would love to create one myself it's kind of like my goal in 2024 is to create a bookish themed or a, a something for my book nook um, or my library shelves and so I would love to kind of create some book nooks I think it could be so much fun and be a really fun craft I also have a Taylor Swift um, like a blanket it's super cozy it has like eras cassettes on it it's so cute um, for my cozy little chair to add a cozy little blanket and that's Taylor Swift theme looks great and then um i think last but not least this is one that is like on my like starred most wanted um item and it is a taylor swift like t-shirt but it's like those ones where it's like it has like the body <laughs> <laughs> on the front to make it look like it's your body um but it has her like you can get her and her lovers um era's concert outfit her vig vigilante shish outfit which are those two are the ones that i like would either or i would love to have they also have ones from love story speak now rep Sir, um, her red circus outfit anyone you can think of they also have other themed ones for like britney spears um i think uh, american girl doll ones um so cute the creator looks amazing i found her randomly on tiktok and i i just i'm dying to have one of these shirts i just think it looks like so much fun so and you can bet your bottom dollar that you would walk in on me like doing a full out performance wearing this thing um and i'm sure my husband will many a times i cannot i just i want one so bad Okay, moving on to, I feel like more, these are, these are wearable items. Um, I think this is the only, these are the only, like, items that are considered apparel that are not merch <laughs> things. Um, and they're all shoes. So I have multiple pairs of shoes on here. Um, I love a good shoe, I love a good sneaker, but I never end up actually buying one for myself. I don't know why. But I did put a pair of high top bands on there as well as platform converse, as well as a pair of new Crocs, so Crocs slides. If you guys remember last year, I asked for Crocs and I got them and I have loved them all year. I wear them all the time. I love them so much, but I would love a pair of Croc slides because I normally buy like the cheapy slides um, that are like the sandal ones for the summertime and I would love a pair of Crocs ones. 
um, one to last longer than like a year because I feel like all the other ones only last for that long and then also so I can put croc charms on it so last year I got a pair of black crocs I would love to get a pair of like white ones this year um, they have so many different types of crocs guys I have such a hard time I want them all all the time they're just so gosh darn cute and I also put like an off like knockoff version of some Doc Martens that are from Target Target always has great shoe sales during the holidays and these have really really good reviews and they just look cute and comfortable I love a good pair of black boots I wear them all year um, but specifically in the cold winter months and some off-brand docks, you know, save some money and they look adorable. So um, those are also on there as well. As far as accessories go, I did put the um, Lisa Frank wallet that I had last year on my uh, wish list. It was sold out last year and I was so sad because I was so hoping to receive that. Um, but I have it on it this year. I don't think I'm gonna get it either, but I would love it. I think it's so cute. Some people may think it's tacky or overdone or eclectic eccentric I don't know it's all of those but I like it just the same so if you are a Lisa Frank lover as well I definitely think you should get it um, or ask for it because I think it's so gosh darn cute and I also asked for um, a different option for a bag last year I asked for a belt bag and that was one of my most used items it was so practical I used it all year I'm still using it I love that thing it was so inexpensive I think it was under $20 maybe it would have just been like $9 or something um, and it is still in perfect condition I was gonna ask for just a different color in that because I use that thing all the time but I would really like a little bit more space in place that I can like bring my Kindle or my book around with me um, and just have a little bit more on hand and so I put some mini backpack options on there. There's some from Walmart, there's some from Amazon, there's some faux leather ones, there's some corduroy ones. Um, I would just love a good mini backpack, you know. As they're still in, and I love them. I think they're so cute. I loved them in the 90s, and I love them now. So I would love a good mini backpack. I always normally put like a bag of some sort on my Christmas wish list and just use it nonstop that whole year and add it to my collection. Um, and I would love a good backpack, so that's on there as well. Moving on to, I feel like these are like the cool gifts, the it gifts or something. I feel like every, like almost anyone would enjoy these types of gifts. Um, and you know, I myself am included in that. And the first one is a little photo printer. Now I know that you can get the Instastax Polaroid camera, which is awesome and amazing. And I think would be really fun. But I think for myself, I would enjoy more to be able to have ones that I've already taken on my phone or be able to easily take and snap photos and be able to print them without having to use a photo printer at home, um, like a, my regular, you know, printer or having to print them at like Target or CVS or get them mailed to me. I just love having like the idea of having like little photos that I can use to decorate and have around my house that I can use for bookmarks. I love to put them uh, behind a transparent Kindle case um, and use them as like little, you know, to like decorate my Kindle because I'm extra and ridiculous. Um, and so I would love to get this printer. They have a ton of different options and different printers all over Amazon and Best Buy and Target and Walmart. This one I believe is a Canon. Um, it has really good reviews and I just, you know, it. I, I would love, honestly, I would love any photo printer, but I'd love a photo printer. The next thing is the famous like selfie light. It's like a giant block light of LEDs that you can just like hook onto your uh, phone. Um, I would love this for taking pictures, for filming, for just having like a basically almost a kind of like a ring light or at least a good form of bright light wherever I go uh, to be able to film and record and shoot. So um, this is definitely like a big want on here because I think it would be super helpful for almost everyone I know who likes to take photos, but also for creators in your life. Um, but I would really want one as well. The other thing is the cup. I know that the Stanley was like, is the cup of the world, okay? Like everyone is all about the Stanley. I cannot justify $50 for a cup. I just can't, I can't. Um, not that there's anything wrong, and if you want that, you get that. Like, that is no hate. It's just not my thing, because I know that there's a lot of times where people have issues with it leaking or the straws, and they might fix that, I don't know. But I love the Simple Modern ones. I love that brand. I purchased from them, and I've shared them with you guys for many years now. And I love their cups. And so they have, like, Stanley dupes. Um, and they have so many colors and so many different patterns and so many different things and they have a checkered one And it's the cutest gosh darn freaking thing on the planet and I want it so badly. It's 
always sold out and I'm sure it's still sold out right now but it'll still be leaked and I'm still hoping and praying that it will come magically in stock when my husband is trying to add gifts or buy gifts or whatever um and because I want it so bad because who doesn't love a cup you know who doesn't love a cup so I would love that I also have a pair of Sony headphones. Um, this is a like dream gift. I honestly don't, I can't even like justify the price because they're so expensive. Um, but I recently, not recently, I would say almost a year ago, Jazz picked up a definitely relatively expensive option of like a headset headphones um, because my AirPods just weren't giving me the sound quality that I liked and they were often like starting to create um, like sores in my ears because <laughs> I use them all the time with my audiobooks and stuff. Um, and I love the headset, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not the highest of quality and it can kind of squeeze my head and just be kind of painful and uncomfortable. And I have done so much research on like what headset's the best headset, sound wise, comfort wise, you know, best like for your dollars, all that stuff. And I feel like this is the headset time and time again that I see recommended. Again, this is just kind of like a dream item. This isn't something I'm expecting to receive, but I just wanted to put it on there because I think it's a really cool luxury gift and I would love it. So now we are gonna get into the game category. I love a good board game. I love a good video game. I love a good cozy game. I am a cozy gamer through and through, but I do like a good action pack one now and again. Um, but I have a Nintendo Switch that I got a couple years ago for Christmas and I love it. Um, but I would really like to add to my collection and Hogwarts Legacy came out last year. I want to see last February. Um, and I still haven't, I have yet to get it. I was so nervous that it would be like really intense and I couldn't enjoy it. And so I never asked for it because I'm such a baby. It's so funny because I like love reading like really intense things. But when I play, I get like so anxious and I start like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, and so I, I prefer like cozy games, but I just, the gameplay of this is just so beautiful. I love just the Harry Potter Hogwarts universe. Um, and I just, I can't put it off anymore. So it's definitely on my list. I would love to receive that game. The other game I have on my wish list is Disney's Dreamlight Valley. This is the cozy edition. I honestly don't know what that means, but it said cozy and you had me. Um, this also is a game that I think came out this year. Um, and it, a, little, a number of months ago, but it has gotten, since gotten rave reviews. And I think everyone that I've known that has played it has absolutely adored it. And I love a good Disney theme. Um, and so I just think this would look like, it looks like so much fun and just something to enjoy. And it's something that isn't, doesn't have incredibly high stakes and is really stressful. Um, that may be Hogwarts Legacy, maybe. But again, I'm just so excited to play that one. So it's like, it doesn't matter if it's kind of like intense and anxious and <laughs> anxiety inducing. Um, along those same lines, I also put a new um, Nintendo Switch cover on there. Um, I could always use a new one. Mine is getting kind of gnarly and nasty. And then I also put some new little key, uh, key caps or key fob covers on there that are silicone. Um, they're little teddy bears and they look like they're holding, I think it's their tummies, but they look like they're holding crackers and they're just so cute. This is something very new to me. I haven't explored this world yet, but I have been dying to play D&D. I just think it'd be something that I really, really enjoyed. And I've seen so many TikToks of people just like playing together with a group of their friends and they're getting together regularly and they're having that community with one another and just experiencing these like adventures together. And I, it literally makes me cry every single time. Like I sob like a baby. It just looks like so much fun. And I've been wanting to play so, so badly. So um, I'm trying to convince my husband and our friends to play with me. <laughs> but I put a beginner's kit on um, my wish list because I would just love to just kind of see what it's about and see if it's something for me. Um, like I said, this is a definitely more of a niche gift idea because not everyone wants to play D&D or is not, that's not their, you know, their journey or their story or something they're interested in. But I think it would be fun um, for some fantasy lovers in your life. Um, and it's a good beginner's kit. So it has really good reviews and um, yeah, I'm really like, I'm down to, to play some D&D, okay? 
Okay, we've made it to the last category on the like main wish list, and we are at beauty. Um, I normally like go crazy with the makeup um, for my Christmas, my Christmas, my Christmas wish list. It's normally something my husband just like spoils me with, and I just like, eat it all up. But this year, I just wasn't feeling it as much. Um, I definitely still love makeup. Don't get me wrong, but I just there were other things I was more interested in, so those those kind of went to the back burner. But I did put a couple of items on there that would I would really enjoy. Two things are skincare items I started using the Cosrx I can never Cosrx um moisturizer and I love it the snail mucin it is so nice it's so beautiful it's super just hydrating um, it just feels really great on your skin and so I would love to just continue um, to add things from that line like the um, essence the power repairing essence as well as the um, alcohol free toner so both of those are up there. Would love either or. Would love both. What have you. They look great. Love some skincare. I also would really um, love some Merit Beauty. I've never tried it and I hear nothing but good things from that brand. I have a like cream cheek like little flush blush on there. Um, that would be great that I would love to try. But honestly anything from that brand I think would be really fun. I also do have a couple things from Rare Beauty. I love Rare Beauty. I know it's super hype but for good reason. Selena Gomez is wonderful but she created a beautiful and amazing I think makeup line and beauty range. And so I do have um, a under eye, the under eye brightener on there as well as a highlighter um, that I've wanted both of those for a while but they're always sold out. I also have two of the Commodity uh, fragrance sampler sets. I love the Commodity line. I have uh, one of the Expressives milk ones and I, I love the scent so much. I think they're so unique. They're, they smell so good and I would love really to just like explore that brand more. Um, and so there's two different gift sets. I'm not expecting you know both of them or either or whatever. They're just different options. Um, but I think Commodity is such a cool brand and I love the different scents and smells and the way they linger, linger, the way that they have for like subtlety and all the way to like bold and I just I love it all. Okay, that is it. We're gonna move to stocking stuffers and I'm hoping to get done with this real quick. So we're gonna go down to the beauty section of the stocking stuffers since we were just talking about beauty on the main gift. And honestly, those main gifts would work perfectly in stocking stuffers. These are just ones that I just decided to throw on here because I thought it was easy. Um, but I would love the Pacifica, Re Pacifica reusable eye masks. I asked for these last year, but I think they were sold out. Um, but I love the fact that they're reusable. It's just eco-friendly and it just saves you money. Um, and I love that you also can use whatever serum that you want on it. I also have a Laneige um, lip mask mini set. I think this is such a good gift. This would be such a good like Secret Santa gift, white elephant gift, just gift, stocking stuff for gift, gift for the women in your life. I feel like this, who doesn't love the Laneige sleeping lip mask? I discovered it you know, not too long ago and I have now since tried to dupe it in so many different forms. And while I feel like there are definitely things that are pretty close there's nothing quite as good as that sleeping mask which irritates the living heck out of me because it's so expensive but it's it's truly just so good so it feels like such a luxurious product but this like little mini set that's twenty dollars when I think one regularly is twenty dollars and you get five of them in there and all different scents is such a good deal and I would love it I also have a couple of lip liners that I've been really wanting from the Sephora line um, as well and then I have some Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm. I have some good Molecule skincare. You know, basic stuff. I also have another perfume, uh, like, set, smelling set, discovery set. I put a bunch of different bookmarks on here um, because I would love some bookmarks. I love having them. Um, and so I put a bunch of different ones on here. All of them are from small shops. There are mostly Taylor Swift themed ones, <laughs> but there are also some bookish themed ones as well. I love a good bookmark. I obviously use them regularly and I just think that they're in it really good and pretty stocking stuffer and you can get just tons of different ones. I also have this really, really, really cute like croquette, like, I don't know, just sweet little um, makeup bag, quilted makeup bag on here, which I think would be really great to kind of fill with some goodies and use as a gift, uh, give as a gift or as a stocking stuffer. I just think it's nice and large and it's so cute. 
I also have a game card case for my Switch on here. It looks like a cute little retro Game Boy. It's so cute. Um, just to house all my games. I have just been keeping them in their cases, but it gets annoying to kind of like try to cart those all around. So I think it'd be easier just to have a little case where you put the cartridges in. So I think this is such a good stocking stuffer. It's inexpensive. It's super cute. I also have um on the tech side of things i guess i do have the same car mount that i put on my um wish list last year i think a car mount is still such a good stocking stuffer everyone needs to be safe on the road and a place to kind of mount your phone um where it's easily accessible to be viewed if you're using it for um driving directions or if you're hands-free talking i just you know i think it's i think it's great my husband's always like why do you it's not fun and i'm like yeah but it's i need it I never buy one, I don't know why, and it's just, I think it's such a good stocking stuffer for the adults in your life. Like, I feel like you can get that for so many people. Um, I also have some, I, I am not someone who like annotates or like tabs my books very often, but there are some times where I wanna be able to come back to a specific passage or, um, you know, it's just, it's nice to have some tabbies. So I did put some Mr. Pin tabbies on there as well as some Mr. Pins. They're like the most aesthetic looking like pin sets I've seen. I just think they're so cute. And so I did put both of those on there and I think they're such good stocking stuffers, especially for people in your life who like to read. I also have a fourth wing um, embroidered coaster. <laughs> I don't need it, but it's so cute and it would be so perfect on that little metal like um, drink stand that I talked about earlier and it's embroidered and it says, should I get the wing leader? Cause that's what Taryn's saying to Violet. And I just like, I died. I thought it was so funny. It's so cute. Um, it's a completely unnecessary gift, but it's awesome. And then it's embroidered and this creator looks great and it's our small shop. I just. Again, I just, I'm finding the most niche things. Um, I do also have the mini brands books capsules. So my kids love mini brands. They want mini brands all the time. Eleanor has asked for multiple mini brand related things for her Christmas list this year. But when they came out with mini brands books, I immediately was like, yes, yes, please sign me up. I have been wanting to create like little mini book versions of my books, which I know is such a silly thing, but I love seeing like the little collections that people create and they put them in ornaments or they put them on like, they make like little mini bookshelves for their mini books. Again, it's so unnecessary, but they're so cute. And I saw that they started making these and they have little mini books and I died. I it, If you have a bookish person in your life, again, these are such a good little gift. They're fun and they're so fun. Like surprise toys are fun to open even if you aren't like enjoying them for yourself. But I know a lot of people love the mini brands surprises anyway. Um, and so, but they came out with a book version and I, I, I want one so badly. <laughs> okay. Um, I also have little mini like Instastack size photo frames um, to be able to use to display from the printer. If I get that photo printer, these would be a great stocking stuffer to include along with maybe some extra photo paper, which I know can get kind of pricey, but I would just love, I think they're so cute. They look like little mini Polaroids and I put two different types on there. One that's more like a clear acrylic iridescent kind of, um, and then there is a, um, other set that has like pretty pastels in it and I just think they're really cute and would be um, something that have been useful for to be able to use to decorate around the place I also have these little croc charms that um, I think are really really cute as well and um, you know to add to those slides that I'm really hoping to receive but again I think croc charms are such a good stocking stuffer okay actually oh yeah last but not least I have a diamond art kit on there <laughs> Um, if you guys watched my, what I got my nine year old for her birthday, she got it. I got her a couple of diamond art kits and they have been so much fun. And I immediately was like, this is something else that can help kind of like push off my seasonal depression. Um, and so I want one so bad. And this one is, um, I believe it's Harry Potter. It looks like Hogwarts. Yes, I believe it's Hogwarts, but honestly, 
It could be Hogwarts. It could be Best Gaia. It could be anything fictional and fantasy, and it will be lovely. Oh my gosh, okay, that is it. I'm so sorry that this video is so long, but I hope that I gave you plenty of ideas because I feel like I had a bunch on there. Um, thank you so much for following along with me. And like I said, those boards will be listed below, and anything that I didn't include on the board will have its separate links if it's something that like I already previously purchased but don't want that double link to get you know, I don't want my husband to have to accidentally buy multiple of those items. So I will have those things linked for you below as well. Um, don't, you know, go too far because um, my what I got my kids for Christmas video is coming up next. It will be the next video I publish. I'm so excited to share with you guys that video. Um, I know it's the one that you guys wait and are most excited for as well. I did ask you guys in my co uh, community section if you would rather have me split them up into two separate videos for each individual kiddo or to stick with the traditional route, which is the super ridiculously long video for both my kids, and that is the one that you picked. Um, I know that my videos are not for everyone because I'm a chatty Kathy, but for those of you who enjoy my long-winded speeches and spiels, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing start to your holiday season. I know that this season can bring a lot of heaviness, a lot of grief, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of stress, a lot of work, but just know that I'm here for you guys I'm supporting you and rallying behind you, and um, I'm just so thankful for your support for my channel and my family as well. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next one. Bye guys.